Hey guys, Valerie here. I have partnered with Yumbox Lunchboxes to bring you two vegan lunch ideas. They're two bagel sandwich recipes, and I'm going to show you how they fit in these awesome lunch boxes by Yumbox. So, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of different compartments here. We are loving these lunch boxes at our house because I like to pack lunch the night before. I'm not a morning person, so in the morning when there's like all this craziness happening and I'm half asleep, I don't, I can't pack a lunch at that time. It has to be done the night before. So for example, um, one of the recipes is an egg salad sandwich. So we put, you can put the bread here, the egg salad in here, a little dessert in here, and maybe like a little side, I don't know, like chips or fruit or whatever. So it's super helpful in the world, but anything getting soggy, you can pack it the night before, and then you can close this up, and that's it, you're done. And it's like really slim, and it's really amazing. Um, and then to clean, they're super easy. You can just take this out and clean it. I'm gonna be showing you two bagel sandwich recipes this week. One, like I said, is an egg salad sandwich recipe. So the egg salad is uh, obviously based off of regular egg salad, but I had this incredible egg salad at a restaurant in Berlin when I was there in December, and I wanted to try to recreate it. It literally tasted just like I remember egg salad tasting like. But, so I'm super excited because when I got to try out this recipe, it literally tastes just like it. And we've been making it over and over and over again in our house, making big batches of it, keeping it in the fridge. It's good for a few days. It's such a great lunch. It's a great summer lunch, especially because it's nice and cold. And you could just make a big batch of it and bring it, you know, on a picnic. If you picnic, do people picnic? I don't know. And then the uh, a vegan turkey cream cheese pesto sandwich. So basically mixing some vegan cream cheese with some pesto, spreading that on a bagel, and then loading it up with some vegan cheese of your choice. I chose chow cheese, layers of vegan uh, turkey, like deli turkey slices some cucumbers for a little crunch, and some tomato, and mash that all together with this delicious bagel. Such a good sandwich. I mean, I've been making that all the time lately too. The flavors are so good together. I've been making these sandwiches so much recently and absolutely neither of us are getting sick of them. You can obviously choose to just put them on regular bread if you don't have bagels, but I mean, the bagel brings it to another level, I'm not gonna lie. Don't forget to subscribe below if you like what you see and let's get started on the sandwiches. You're going to need two 14 ounce packages of firm tofu, three quarters of a cup of raw cashews, three tablespoons of vegan mayo, and one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a half teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of turmeric, and a half teaspoon of onion powder, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, and about a quarter of a cup of green onions for garnish. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. And this is a super important part, kala namak salt. So this is a sulfur salt that'll give it that eggy taste. This is a very integral part of this recipe if you want that eggy taste. So you're going to need to plan a little ahead for this recipe because the cashews need to be soaked for at least two hours. If you have a high powered blender, two hours is enough. If not, I would definitely soak them overnight in the fridge. While you prepare the rest of the recipe, go ahead and press your tofu blocks and get some of the moisture out. The pressing process is super easy if you haven't done it before. You're just gonna lay a clean kitchen towel down, put the two blocks of tofu right on top, lay another clean kitchen towel on top, and then place something heavy on top. I like to put another baking sheet on top and it's like something heavy like potatoes or maybe a heavy cast iron pot. Once the cashews are done soaking, you're gonna add them to a high powered blender. Add 10 tablespoons of the soaking water to the cashews and blend until completely smooth. Then add the mayo, the Dijon mustard, paprika, turmeric, and onion powder, lemon juice to the blended up cashews. Blend for just a few seconds until it's combined. Then add in your black salt, blend again for just another few seconds. 
Go ahead and crumble all of your tofu in a large bowl. Add the contents of the blender and stir to combine. Add in the fresh cracked pepper and parsley and stir to combine. To pack this lunch into our yum box, we're gonna keep it separate so it doesn't get soggy. We're gonna place the bagel in one compartment and then place the egg salad in another compartment, some fresh ripe tomatoes, and some Oreo cookies for dessert. Top it with a little bit of green onion, and there you have a delicious lunch for the next day. Next, we're going to make the turkey pesto bagel sandwich. You're going to need half a cup of plain vegan cream cheese, two tablespoons of vegan pesto, vegan cheese of your choice. I love chow in this, or you can use like a provolone style, vegan turkey slices, 16 slices of cucumber, and about four large slices of tomato. And of course, don't forget the bagels. I love Dave's Killer plain bagels. First, we're gonna combine the pesto and the cream cheese together in a small bowl. We're gonna spread the pesto cream cheese mixture on the cut side of the bagel. Then we're gonna layer five slices of vegan turkey on the bottom of the bagel. Next comes the cheese, and then four slices of cucumber on top. Then the tomato, And that's it. We're gonna put a little bit of extra pesto cream cheese in the dip portion of our yum box. Then we're gonna pack our sandwich in the large portion. Just a disclaimer, the Dave's Killer bagels are a little too big for these lunch boxes, but if you use a little bit of a smaller bagel, like from Rudy's or from Thomas, they do fit in there. A little bit of purple cabbage slaw for a side. And of course, you can't have lunch without some more sandwich cookies. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I have links to the Yumbox lunch boxes below if you'd like to check those out for yourself. And also links to each recipe on my website. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw.